be Hunger Games, and may the odds be ever in your face. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm a tribute from District 12. I'm a designer. <laughs> I'm a designer. I'm a big fan of the Hunger Games, clearly. I thought it would be fun to redesign the Hunger Games book covers in honor of the prequel being released this week, A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. The current covers are cool and I like the Mockingjay as a symbol throughout. I thought it would be fun to elevate the books a bit beyond the young adult genre. <laughs> I started out with thumbnail sketches, which outside of YouTube world refers to really small, undetailed sketches to get ideas down on paper. My sketches are centered around Katniss mainly because A, she's the center of the story and a total badass, and B, I wanted to do some of my own photography for as much of this as I can, and the only character that I can decently resemble is Katniss since I won't have any models because, you know, still in quarantine, so Katniss it is. I want to do one cover drawing on the ancient Greek slash Roman influence in this story, so something with a marble statue or bust. For Catching Fire, I love the image of the lightning striking in the jungle, so something along those lines. And then the last concept is based off all the comparisons to Joan of Arc, something inspired by medieval art or stained glass. I'm doing the Greek marble concept for the first book since a lot of the nods to ancient Greek and Roman culture are established in this book. In order to turn myself into a marble statue, I put on a really small amount of makeup just to add a tiny bit of dimension to my face. Since I don't have a photography studio or studio lights, I just decided to use my garage. If you stand just underneath the overhang in your garage, you'll get even lighting on your face and a dark background. So I made intense eye contact with the camera and this was what I ended up with. I started off by just processing the image and lightening my skin a little bit. And then I just painted over the background to get rid of it. The trick to doing this was opening up the camera raw filter and increasing the luminosity as far as it would go, which is what smooths out everything in the photo. I converted it to black and white using a black and white adjustment layer since it gives you a little bit more control. I used the smudge tool to smooth over my pupils and then anything else on my skin that wasn't smooth yet. I had never used this tool before, but it worked really well. The only thing is that it's destructive, so just make sure you're making a lot of copies of the layers that you're working on. I found a model whose head was tilted similarly to the way mine was and then brought that photo in and masked out her face so that just the hair stayed since I was not going to be able to make hair like that from scratch. I will say if you are ever bored and looking for something to do, turning yourself into a Greek statue is low-key kind of fun. <laughs> I watched a couple in-depth tutorials about how to do this and I'll just link those below instead of trying to explain what I learned from them. But definitely go watch those if you're interested in creating this look yourself. And then lastly, I found a marble texture that had a big crack in it and I positioned the cracks so that it was right over my eyes because I wanted a bit of the original photograph to be peeking out. I went back and forth on a lot of different options for type, but I ended up going with this like crafty Tumblr circa 2012 look. And then I put that baby in a free book mock-up I found on the internet. And this is the final product. For Catching Fire, I went to the forest preserve near my house, which is the closest thing that I was going to find to a jungle. For this one, I wanted to do something with a person in it, so I put on my best District 12 tribute attire, and I braided my hair the way I imagined that Katniss's hair was braided. It's not as long as it's supposed to be in the books, but whatever. It was actually really fun dressing up like one of my favorite characters, so here's just a little montage of what my outfit looked like. I found a spot with this little trio of trees and so I set up my camera and got ready to take a photo.
Again, I just started out by processing the photo and camera raw and I played around with the colors and then I ended up using a preset that I actually used to edit this video. So I wanted the greens to be very blue and dark. Once I finished processing the raw file, I started masking out my figure and I was going to replace it with something else. So I knew the whole time when I dressed up as the character that it wouldn't actually be in the photo. So did I just do it to cosplay? Probably, but <laughs> whatever. I found some photos on stock image sites, including this one of the bright light and then also one of lightning. And so I'll link those below if anybody wants to use them. I get all of my stock photos from Unsplash. It's a really great website. I've also posted photos there. It's just a great website to share your photography and also find photos to use that are totally free. So I brought those in and then I used different blend modes to blend them into the image. Can we just talk for a second about how Catching Fire is my favorite book and movie by far in the whole series. I just love how much they dive into character development. Yeah, I mean, Katniss and Peeta just peaked during this book and I was here for it. Anyways, back to the design. I felt like the figure was standing out a little bit too much from the background, so I added in my own lights onto some of the trees, and then I made the foreground a little bit darker. And this was all just to make the image look like there was actually a glowing person in the woods. I added in a rainbow halo light flare just to give it a little oomph where the lightning was hitting the person. I used the same type treatment as the first book, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching this. Let me know which cover turned out to be your favorite. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos like this. That's all I've got for you today, so bye.